Hey, Mike Roderick here, edutainer at IT Pro TV, and we're getting ready for another episode of How to Get Started in IT. Now, if you were expecting Wes or Cherokee, don't worry, they're still here. It's just my turn to try it. And today we're going to be talking about narrowing your focus when you're getting started in IT. Today we're talking about how to narrow your focus when you're getting started in IT. You know, and this is one of the things that that is often a big hurdle for people as they're getting started in IT cuz I often hear, "Hey, I want to get into IT." But IT what? You know, there's it's a broad topic. Do you want to get into databases? Do you want to get into security, app design, web design, network administration, uh, server administration? So one of the big challenges that you'll face is really trying to narrow your focus, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, this is something that I've struggled with myself. When I first got into IT, I was a career changer. I came from the restaurant industry, and I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I just knew I wanted to get into IT. So when I started taking classes and going to school, I thought web design was where it was at. I thought that'd be really fun and exciting. But once I got into it, I realized that it wasn't for me. I didn't have the creativity needed to do web design. But luckily for me, the school that I chose actually had a lot of offerings and they allowed you to try different things and I was able to not just do web design, but try some other things, some network administration, some server administration type classes, and I was able to find what really excited me. And when I got in there, I realized that network administration and server administration was really what I like to do. And so what I would suggest to you as you're getting started in IT is try to find some place that will let you sample the buffet if you will. Take a variety of courses, take a variety of training where you're not pinning yourself to one particular track. All right, so what do I mean by sample the buffet? Well, when we think about the different options that we have when it comes to IT training, we've got our traditional routes where we're talking about a university or a college or a vocational or technical school, and then we've got online type training. And when we look at the first options, the traditional method, you know, there are some downsides to that. There's definitely some upsides, but some of the downsides are going to be that we're typically stuck in a track, right? We have to sign up for our classes ahead of time. We have to pay a lot of money, and if we get halfway through a semester and we realize that this really isn't what we want or it's not, you know, it's not tickling our fancy, then <laughs> we're kind of stuck, right? Whereas if we go the online route, a lot of times training, online training is a little more flexible. It gives you the ability, like someplace like IT Pro TV, right, where you come in, you get a subscription, and you've got access to our entire library. So you're not pinned to one particular thing right out of the box. You can try all these different things. You can watch some Cisco videos. You can watch some Microsoft videos. You can watch some A plus videos, and you can see what it is that really turns you on. What excites you about IT? And this is going to give you the chance to start focusing what it is that you want to do. Now, another way that you can help narrow your focus is to think about what your end goal is. When you get done with all of your training, are you looking at owning your own business, maybe a PC repair shop or a help desk type situation, or do you want to manage a network at a Fortune 500 company, or do you want to go work for some cloud service provider? Right? Lots of different options, but if you think about that ahead of time, where you want to be in the end, that can also help guide your training choices. Right? Now, there's a lot of roles out there. You can do some quick searches on the internet and you'll see that all the hot topics, the security admin, the sysadmin, the network admin, you know, read up on those roles and really do your research because some of them sound really cool, right? Security, everybody wants to get into security, but unfortunately, it's not as sexy as the movies make it. Never send a boy to do a woman's job. Hackers of the world unite. There is some really cool stuff to working in security, but there's also a lot of time spent reviewing logs, analyzing lines of code in a little room all by yourself. So, you know, think about that. Really look into it. Maybe talk to some people that are already in the field and get an idea of what it is that they do day to day, right? And the other thing you've got to think about as you're beginning your career, your training in IT is foundational skills, right? There are certain skills that no matter what career you decide to go with, whether you want to be a network admin, a sysadmin, a web developer, you're still going to need that foundational information. You're going to need to understand how computers work. Things like CompTIA A+, and CompTIA Network+. Plus. These are considered foundational skills, and they're really the platform or the foundation for just about every IT career. All right, so there's a couple of my suggestions on how you could narrow your focus as you're getting started in IT. 
Love to hear what you think. Make sure you leave me a comment and also check out the rest of the videos and subscribe to our channel, How to Get Started in IT. I'm Mike Roderick and we'll see you next time.